Pontiac is about an hour and 45 minute drive southwest of Chicago. Pontiac, Illinois is about as interesting as a small town of its size gets in Illinois. Historic US 66 goes through town, and Pontiac does nothing short of embracing that fact. Chicago sends their garbage here, there's a large maximum security prison in town, and coincidentally, Pontiac, Illinois has many similarities with the larger Pontiac, Michigan. Well, let's get to it, shall we? I start the video on the far western side of Pontiac near exit 197 along I-55. If you're unfamiliar with my videos, I do speed up my videos in order to show more in a less amount of time. You can always keep up with the real time that it takes me to drive in the lower left corner of the screen. If I go too fast for you, or if you think I'm going too slow, you can always adjust the playback speed through the gear icon on PC or through the three dotted menu on a mobile device. Isn't YouTube great? Really quick, as if you enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as doing all of those things helps these videos out with the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy some of my other videos that are featured on my channel playlists, such as my Illinois playlist, Tourist Town playlist, and my USA Small Towns playlist. Pontiac is home to 11,200 people today, which is nearly a 6% decline from its 2010 population. Pontiac is the county seat of Livingston County, which has a population of 35,700, and that's down from a 1980 peak population of 41,000. The median household income here is $49,000 per year, and 18% of the city lives in poverty. 15% of adults 25 and older hold a bachelor's degree or higher, which is a pretty low number. The median value of owner-occupied housing units is $98,000 which is pretty typical for a rural small town like Pontiac. Crime here is low, and the public schools rank just above average. The worst thing about Pontiac would be the typical small rural town drug problem and the economy as good paying jobs are far and few in between. Make sure to drop a like for that amazing insight. Pontiac is home to many museums. To name a few, Pontiac is home to the Heritage Collection Museum, the Museum of the Gliding Arts, the Livingston County War Museum, the Route 66 Association of Illinois, the International Waldog Mural and Sign Art Museum, and the Pontiac Oakland Auto Museum. Now the Pontiac Oakland Auto Museum is what I'll talk about first even though we won't get to it until later. The Pontiac Oakland Auto Museum opened up shop here in August of 2010. There is a Pontiac auto enthusiast that was on a road trip from Chicago back to Oklahoma where he lived, and he saw the town name of Pontiac off of the highway and pulled into town. He caught up with a local museum director and decided that he wanted to help create a museum here that showcases the Pontiac and Oakland car brand. So even though the car brand Pontiac has little to no history in this town, as General Motors never operated an auto assembly plant here of any sort, that's why the Pontiac Oakland Car Museum is located in Pontiac, Illinois. I had to do that research for myself just because I was curious because I am from Oakland County, Michigan. Anyway, from there, I will mention the coincidental similarities that the town has with Pontiac, Michigan. And oh yes, Downtown Pontiac. Downtown Pontiac hosts a collection of really cool older buildings. Pontiac, Michigan is the county seat of Oakland County, Michigan. The Oakland Motor Car Company started in Pontiac, Michigan back in 1907 and was bought by General Motors in 1909. General Motors ceased the brand in 1931 in favor of the Pontiac brand. Oakland County, Michigan is right next to Livingston County, Michigan. And in case you forgot, Pontiac, Illinois is the county seat of Livingston County, Illinois. So there you go. Moving on to other things, up ahead is the Pontiac Correctional Facility.
The Pontiac Correctional Facility is a maximum security prison for men. The prison was opened in 1871 and today holds around 2,000 inmates, give or take. There are several reasons to visit Pontiac, Illinois, as there are many museums. Try not to let this facility be the reason why you visit town. And now it's time to get our kicks on Route 66. Yeah, yeah, it, it feels very unnatural for me to say that. But anyway, Pontiac's early days, a uh, railroad came through the town that extended from Chicago to St. Louis. That ended up being huge for the town. And soon after that, a road that was meant for automobiles was built paralleling the railroad line. That road eventually was designated as US 66. And as we all know, US 66 is no longer a highway, technically, as the US decommissioned the route in 19. 1985, the highway has become an icon and now the route is designated as historical route US 66. The US 66 Association of Illinois Hall of Fame and Museum is located here and that museum is heavily influenced by the legend of a hipster guy named Bob Waldmeyer. His bus that he used to live in is now an exhibit at the museum and he also had an old van that is a separate exhibit. If you ever watched Cars, the animated movie, the character Fillmore is inspired by Waldmeyer's van that is inside the museum. Waldmeyer was known for his art and his murals, and the town of Pontiac, Illinois has more than several murals painted on the sides of buildings throughout downtown with US 66 aspirations. This is Humiston Riverside Park and it's home to one of Pontiac's swinging bridges. This one in particular you can barely see but it crosses the Vermilion River and was built at the same time of an old electric railway bridge. Here you can see a nice view of the Livingston County Courthouse. On the left after the stop sign ahead is the Pontiac Oakland Auto Museum. As we turn here on the right ahead is the US 66 Association of Illinois Hall of Fame and Museum. That's quite a long name, sheesh.
On the right is Pontiac Township High School, home of the Indians. The name Pontiac derives from a legendary Indian chief that led Native Americans in battling the British in the Great Lakes region. The road that we cross here is labeled as Historic US 66. It is a road that bypasses town, so I wonder if that truly was the original US 66 or if the original routing was one that headed through the original town. Last but not least, the mighty city of Chicago sends its garbage here, which is a one hour and 45 minute drive south of Chicago. This landfill takes in about 5,000 tons of filthy Chicago trash a day. All kinds of jokes can be made about that. Pontiac is one of four locations that are around 100 miles outside of Chicago that takes the city's trash. One other location is just south of Rockford and two locations in Indiana. All four locations that Chicago sends its garbage to appear to be just like this one a mountain over miles of farmland.
And I do finish off the video with a little bit of a sunset drive as the sky was doing cool things as I headed out of town. And you can see why they call Illinois the prairie state. Much of it, almost about 90% of the state of Illinois, is farmland just like this. With that said, I do end the video shortly up ahead. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as doing all of those things helps these videos out with the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. Also, if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the playlists that are featured on my channel. Some of those playlists that you might like include my Illinois playlist, my USA Small Towns playlist, and my Tourist Town playlist. We'll see you next time. Wait for it. Peace.